You guys, this storm is still a Category 1 hurricane. It's exiting Florida's Atlantic coast, but it's still got very strong winds at 85 miles an hour. Some of the strongest gusts are near 105 miles an hour. Moving off towards the north and east, by the way, at a pretty quick clip at almost 20 miles an hour. So it poses no more of a risk to the lower 48 other than the damage, of course, that's already been done. However, just because this storm is not off the coast just yet doesn't mean it's not still going to bring a host of issues. For example, the storm is a 500 miles wide from tip to tail in terms of those tropical storm force winds. So winds 38 miles an hour or greater, which means we still have gusts across uh, central and northeastern Florida right now at almost 60 to maybe even 80 miles an hour through Daytona Beach at about 60 miles an hour. That is going to cause more storm surge issues, not as extreme as what we saw across Florida's uh, west coast near the Gulf of Mexico from yesterday, but still storm surge no less about 10 hours after landfall. Looking back to yesterday, too, this storm brought more than 120 tornado warnings, the most ever issued in a single day statewide by National Weather Service's office in Melbourne, also Miami too, and of course in and around Tampa and Fort Myers. So a very strong day yesterday. Milton finally making its grand exit for us. Cooler air is rushing in today, but as we near the weekend, the temperatures start to turn around. So perhaps in the upper 60s to maybe low 70s. It's drier weather overhead, not only for today, but tomorrow too, thanks to this area of high pressure that's anchored in through Friday Friday afternoon through Saturday now. Look at the weather system that tries to bring some rainfall into northern New England. That just stays north of us until Monday. A new weather maker is on the way. Not only does this have rain, it does have snow. It is that time of year where we start talking about snow, but most of the accumulating snow showers should be across southern portions of Canada. Our temperatures this morning, not cold enough for snow, but certainly chilly as we're about 10 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. So the kids do need the coat as they head towards the bus stop today. Temperatures are nearing 50 degrees right now with partly cloudy conditions as we go throughout the next several hours a slow climb into the mid 50s and low 60s for highs today region wide across Boston the South Shore the South Coast and through the Cape and Islands as well your 10 day forecast stays plenty of dry not only for today and tomorrow but look at the weekend here I think this is a great weekend it sort of split with the milder temperatures first on Saturday near 70 degrees and low 60s on the way for Sunday